Guys, this is like when we fly, and Sean just wants to look out the window in the airplane. Yeah. But Rocco just wants to stretch out and get a nice nap in. <laughs> and, you know, that's the seat with the wall you can lean up against, oh, so obviously. Yeah, when we when we fly, Sean, Sean ha- has to look out the window. I, I like that, that. Right? That's a thing? It is a thing. Yeah. It's a th- Well, for several reasons. Uh, uh, <laughs> I get scared of flying, and so I have to think, oh, we can land there, and we'd be fine. We can land there. We fine. Although that makes no fucking sense, I know. And then I also get bored, and so sometimes it's nice to look out the window and look at what's passing you by. So I am on the other end of the spectrum. Close the fucking window. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so when we fly, it can be a deadly combination. Yeah. Uh, because I want to sit in a seat where no one's going to get up. Uh, uh, and go to the bathroom or anything. I'm the kind of person that uh, we'll have a five six hour flight. I will sit in the seat and wake up where we land, and I'm that's it. And uh, so if I put myself in a position, sometimes, honestly, too, like we'll, when we do these conventions, eh, sometimes, not every time, but sometimes, like I'll be getting video shit ready up until the night before. And so I've barely slept. So it's like, I don't, don't fuck with me. Like, I'm just going to sleep, you know, whatever. But, uh, but then it's like, who, you know, one versus the other. I need to see out the window. I need the window closed. I need to not be disturbed. You know, there, lest I get bothered one time. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I know. <laughs> there have been times, Rocco, you had the window seat and you said you can have the window, but will you need to go to the bathroom during the flight? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking probably. Like, <laughs> no. And, then, and no. then I have to go. Now it's in my head. I and can, it's like, oh shit, I'm going to have to go. I can think of, Sean, I can think of one time. Oh, where were, I don't remember where we went, but Sean litter. I was seriously like, I'm so like not rested. Like I need to sleep on this flight. I'm dying. Uh, I, th- they put me in the window seat, but you can have it as long as you do not get up. Like, do we have a deal? And you were like, absolutely. I'm going right before we fly. Don't worry about it. And I remember halfway through that. Flight, I knew it. It Be- was, Hey man, I'm really sorry. It's because you said and, it. And, and said I just, and I woke up and you know, here's the thing right now I'm talking about it and I'm like, why did he have to get up? Nah. But forgiven, huh? But when I'm half asleep after <laughs> not getting much sleep, on a plane, everything is heightened. So he woke me up to tell me, and it was like telling the Godfather bad news. It was like, you gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, shit. And I just remember, I remember specifically what I did and thinking later, like, you were such a fucking baby on that flight. Because I was like, you really gotta go. Huh? <laughs> like, I was just so, like, life and death about it. Yeah. But thinking back, we did have an oath. And I, well, I do think that so. that oath is what started this whole problem to begin with. Because yeah. if you the say oath. you can't go to the bathroom, the first thing my brain thinks is like, well, <laughs> it's gonna, like, yeah. don't, it's like, don't think of elephants. Yeah, and you're that's go, the first you're thing. going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> but that, that wake up uh, anger is real. I, I suffer yeah. from that too. Like, if I'm, if I'm awoken, yeah. I'll, overreact and make the situation worse just yeah. because fuck if someone would have just told me this when i was already awake it'd be fine but when you're awoken with bad news it's i like, have seen yeah. the, both of your faces and yeah garrett you always stand up you always fix your hair and look around annoyed <laughs> that's your move <laughs> i know <laughs> when i wake up when you wake up from a flight and you someone makes you get up like whether oh, yeah. it be me or somebody uh. else you always just I don't try to look so annoyed. Well, you do. Oh, God. You do. And now I prefer it. I 1,000% prefer it when I sit next to complete strangers than these people. Because it's like, <laughs> but I don't even if really I wake care. them up, uh, if I wake <laughs> them up, who cares? I'll never see them again. It's not my see, problem. That's that, that, that paralysis anger that you suffer from in the first five minutes of being awoken. I can't help it, but I really have no memory or recollection that doesn't even compile up and I get mad at you after like five years. Yeah. I have no problem keep, falling keep asleep on a plane. When people wake me up, it's no big deal. Yeah. But uh do you ever experience you're asleep on a plane and suddenly you just get this rush of fear and you like snap awake? Whenever that'll I, that'll happen no. to me like I'm sleeping and then in my dr- like dreams I realize like I don't know where I am. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> oh I'm on a plane. <laughs> oh I'm on a plane. One time I was sleeping on a plane and I almost shit my pants. I woke up and for whatever reason I in that first five minutes of being awake thought I saw a haze of smoke oh, coming through the cabin. Oh fuck. <laughs> and I what? like was sleeping. I was like. <sighs> And thinking just like, what the fuck? 
there's fucking smoke in the cat. And this was like right after fucking Malaysia flight disappeared. Yeah, and yeah. It, all these people were like, oh, maybe a, maybe a tire caught on fire and everybody had smoke inhalation and it just went into the ocean. I was like, is there a fucking tire on fire? Or is this fucking, what's going on? What the fuck is going on? And I remember looking around me like, well, nobody else seems to give a shit. <laughs> and I was just asleep, so... <laughs> Maybe I don't need to make a big deal out of this. Big right final now. destination. The only time I've ever had any kind of thought, I, I, I would say no, I've never had that happen to me, Derek, but I've had it just in the sense of like there's flights I'm trying to sleep and it is very bumpy and I know it and I'm just trying to like, hey, rock, go back to sleep. Just go back to sleep. Just go back to sleep. You know, yeah. like that. I'll have that happen. But you and, can do but, that? What's that? You can go back to sleep in the turbulence? Oh, uh, not very well. I'm doing my best. Wow. <laughs> like just like Rocco, give in. You, you know you're tired. Just give in to Like it. turbulence woke you up? Uh, yeah, that, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't. I mean, I don't like that. that I mean, I don't. <laughs> I'm scared during that. You know, just like you know. Uh, but I was gonna say though that thought that you're talking about, like, oh, nobody else is making a big deal out of it. I have been woken out of. Uh, I've been woken up by turbulence, thinking it's worse than it is. Yeah. And then I, ha I've had that same thought where I look around and I go, oh, no one's freaking out, so it's not that bad. Okay. Yeah. Keep, just try to sleep. Except that one horrible flight we had that one time. Yeah. I thought the same thing that I always do. Oh, nobody's making a big deal. It's all good. And as I'm saying that, that girl's going, oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> hey, can we get a nurse over here? Can we get? Is there and I'm a like, doctor on and, the flight? And that was where I was like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I started oh, thinking, no. like, what the fuck is going on right Yeah, now? so that was bad. That was very <clears throat> Yeah. You know uh, how, like, when uh, you're sleeping and you'll suddenly feel like you're falling and it yeah. like, jolts you away? Yeah, I've yeah. had that. I feel I've, like that'd be the that. worst on a plane. Yeah, totally. Thankfully, that's never happened to me, but I feel yeah. like you would just I can't panic. sleep on a plane. I just can't. Yeah, I can't do it. There was one flight that, it was, I think it was just me and Jericho in this place, and I think we are going to Boston. It was somewhere very far. It was a very far flight. And the captain came on and was like, okay, so... Unfortunately, it's bad weather the entire way, and we're expecting kind of a bumpy ride Whoa. the entire time. And then Derek looks at me and goes, "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When, when I hear Party. roller coaster time, I think we maybe we talked about this, but when when I get an announcement like that, it hasn't happened to me very many times. But when they flat out say it's like, "Oh, it's not going to be a fun one" or something like that, yeah, I just. I have to lean into it all the way, and I'll put on like fuck, like death metal oh, yeah, on me my too. headphones. Always. Like, -na 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 -na. Okay, let's do. You know, I find uh, when they warn you it's gonna be a bad flight, it's never as bad in my mind. I'm yeah. prepared for you like this shit's gonna be fucking wild, yeah. and it's just like, ooh, yeah. Oh, and it's over. <laughs> but when they don't say anything, and the plane is like, rrr, rrr, yeah. I'm like, okay, so do they know what's going on up there? <laughs> yeah. Like, I had a I had the opposite happen to me this last time I flew to, when I flew to Florida last month on the way there they were like hey nothing but clear weather from here to there so we're going to we're going to open this thing up that happened to me yeah. that happened to me on the way to Japan once and I got there in like eight and a half hours which was for Japan was pretty fast um, and then yeah, Florida. I was there in like four and a half or something. Whoa. like that. It was pretty. Yeah, they were like, it was all clear weather between here and there. So why are people saying this is the Rooster Teeth podcast all of a sudden? I haven't mentioned my Tesla. Yeah, yeah I haven't even. I haven't even said word one about my wow. Tesla. Wow, or that I, I, I pre-ordered the Model Y our, last our night. Our poor fans have never taken a plane flight out there. I'm sorry. I hope you get to experience the miracle of flight someday. Yeah, and I hope you pre-order a Model Y like I did last night because that's what I do. I have four of them. And I haven't charged one. I don't have any place to do it. Why anyway. Y Wing or Model Y? Both. Oh, shit. They're full scale Y Wing at Galaxy's Edge. I already have one. I said wow. make two. Keep um, one in the box. No. Uh, uh, I don't know where I was going with that now. Oh, Merch.Mega64? No, it wasn't that. <laughs> nope. That's not even correct. I know. Um, <laughs> no, it was about the plane thing. I can't, rem uh, I can't remember now. Uh,. Yeah, I can't remember. Just say, take your time. Remember, we're talking about turbulence. It's never as bad as they say. Yeah, Open yeah. It up, it, Florida, four and a half hours. No, he uh, went to Japan at eight and a half hours. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, wow. That's still a long flight. Like, like again, I, I can sleep on a plane. That's what I was going to bring up. Sleeping on a plane, like, I can do it pretty easily, but it's rare that I do it, like, maybe the whole time. Like, I'll wake up at some point, you know, especially if it's a long, if it's like a 10-hour flight or something like that. There's no way I'm sleeping that whole time, but there was one time going to Japan. It was about ten. They said like it's gonna be, it's gonna take ten and a half or something, and I was so tired. I'm like, I'm gonna sleep as much as I can. And I do remember waking up, and they're like, "All right, we're about an hour away from landing." And I was like, "Oh, that's the best thing I've ever heard." Because I brought so many things, that I thought uh. I was gonna be bored. But my brother just recently, my brother hasn't fl flown a lot. 
uh, but his work uh, asked him to go to the East Coast. Oh. And so he, he doesn't have – I mean, he's flown, but he doesn't have a ton of experience. Right. And he's like, he's like, do you think a red eye would be okay? Like, or, or would I hate that? What do you think? And I'm like, it just depends if you can sleep on a plane or not. You know what I mean? Like, I can, so I don't mind it. You're not going to get the best sleep of your life, but I don't – it's not that big of a deal to me, you know? Yeah. So that's up to you. And he did – he found out he was more on Sean's side. Oh, and worst he, made, side and to be he on. made the Sean mistake. Huh. He said, you "Take Nyquil." It, yep. Oh. He was like, <laughs> he was like, I took Zquil on the way, and it did <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I was like, that's this is all word for word with Sean. Oh saying. my like, god! Word I took Zquil, and it didn't work, and I I'm just... going crazy. <laughs> it was seriously like the same thing, and he's like that. He was like that, like fucked up my trip. I was like, yeah, you got to know. You got to yeah. know which one when, you are. When I was a kid and I would fly, I would page ding, for the stewardess maybe like every 20 minutes. Oh, my and God. And get another soda. Yeah. I was a big boy. I drink a <laughs> lot of sodas, you know? Yeah. And I feel like that is – it's I don't know. Is there a cultural shift? I feel like I don't get as many, like, drinks now. I feel like it's really – like, totally bad oh, yeah. form to page the stewardess and ask for a drink. Yeah. Uh, I see people do it, though. Uh, you get I, like I, one I, I get the one that they walk by and get I've never asked them for it they but come by with I, drinks sometimes yeah. you know I've seen people like Paige like well drink service will be out in a minute and I'm thinking like just uh, give yeah. a person a fucking soda <laughs> but I, I remember being a kid can. like I would get a shit ton of them I would ask for can I get another soda and can I get the can and yeah. they would give me the whole can and the glass yeah. of ice and I would do that like you say like yeah because it was free that yeah. was the benefit of like and you oh can't my sit God, still. I'm on a plane there's nothing to Which, do. Yeah. It's, it's kind of backwards logic. A kid can't sit still, so let's give him like 500,000 <laughs> calories worth of sugar. But uh, yeah, I feel like yeah, I less drinks nowadays. Yeah. Hmm. Alex Jones, get on this. Where would all the soda service go? And no peanuts because of allergies. It's all pretzels now. Yeah, you know, I was when – when the last airline that had that was Southwest, I think. And when they announced, all right, that's it, no more peanuts. I was bitter. I was like, that's the they're the one airline that has that. I love, I love the peanuts. But I was not in I did not know about nut allergies at all. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, I knew I knew they exist and they're very bad, but I didn't know that it affected like people's like if if nuts were like on the tray and they touched the tray like that, they could have a yeah, horrible they're pretty reaction. Bad. Fuck. Yeah, so once I heard it was that bad, I was like, Oh, okay, yeah, kill that. Like, like we worked like, at Subway a baby. Yeah. way back in the day, we would bake our own cookies, but they had to get rid of the peanut butter cookies because right. they're like, if you bake any other cookie on this tray, somebody could die. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Yeah, shit. I never knew it was to that level. So my, yeah. my heart went out to them. Yeah. That's hard. And honestly, pretzels are just fine. So we're good. Th those we're pretzels are golf. nasty. Hey, listen, Disc some golf, airlines anybody? give the rolled gold. Those are good. But these little pretzels that these other airlines just I tell them keep them. Those are <laughs> yeah. those are like fish food. Like, Give just, those to no. me. I'll eat them. Do you do that hand gesture to the? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I just go. I, I deny you. Keep them. Keep your pretzels. I pardon. In, I pardon Z. That was I. I pardon you. No pretzels, please. Uh, <laughs> some airlines. <laughs> Some uh, airlines, uh, an astute fan knows what movie that's from. <laughs> some airlines give like, uh, you know, like wheat thins or cheez its. I'm in on that, but the, the pretzels, please be gone. <laughs> be gone. And I say that, I'll be like, please be gone. Back, <laughs> back to the cockpit, please. Tell the pilot I do not approve. In the future, we're gonna have these airplanes. They're gonna get rid of the seats, and they're gonna have like those Riddler's Revenge roller coaster seats, <laughs> yeah. where it's basically a bicycle seat on a spring. Locks you in the crotch and you're locked into a standing position, and you know, you're just like two inches away from the person in front of you. I think they could get more people on the planes that way. Uh, there was a news story just just about that. Oh there's an God. there's an airline there's an airline standing that room wants, only that wants to do a standing room only flight, what? and they're like, Shit. yeah, we're gonna we want to sell it as like this cool thing yeah. where where you just kind of lean against the thing or whatever, and we can get like another row or two of people on there. <laughs> oh my And yeah, God. everyone's like, yeah, fuck off, please. That, like, no. I, yeah, turbulence would be great in that. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Uh, yeah, have you ever been going to the bathroom like staying up peeing when turbulence hits? Because I've had that happen to me before, and it went everywhere. That's hard mode. Pee I, went everywhere. I've been, I've been oh, in yeah. there, and I caused the turbulence. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, they're wow. not good. I missed the entirety of that movie Hitchcock. <laughs> I know. You yeah, did. going to the bathroom and that happens, you have to like fill the space. <laughs> yeah. Basically, like lock yourself in. Like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I should have sat down. Some into the spider. You never verse know. Shit. You don't want to touch Pee the walls of the bathroom either, but you have to brace you gotta, yourself. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta make sure your uh, muscles are strong. I just go yeah. diagonal. 
Um, <laughs> and it's a perfect fit. Um, How, you know, when they filmed uh, Apollo 13, they did it in a zero-G plane. Yeah. What, what must go to the bathroom be like on that, man? Whoa. You're taking a whiz, and suddenly they're like, action! And the pee starts rising out of the toilet. You're like, no! I was thinking about cool. filming those scenes. That's like the opposite of what you want flying. Like That's like the literal la like, last thing you want is that motion. If you're just floating there, that must be fucking terrifying. Well, if you're prepared for it. I it must guess. be fun. I, I don't know. I think if you, I maybe everything's blacked out and you're so in the moment you're acting, but like if you know, if you're Tom Hanks and you know the plane is nosediving right now and you have to act, fuck that. That sounds impossible. I feel like you can lean into it because your character is supposed to be, like, I you guess. know, like, it's like maybe. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Like you're, you're creating a, a crazy situation and it's just, you're, <laughs> yeah. you're reacting to That's it. That's why they get paid it. the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, film on a zero G plane before you talk. Okay. Um, speaking of.